Hey everybody, let's talk about how to write a cover letter, a perfect cover letter. In this video, I'm gonna give you an example cover letter and a couple of pointers which are super important. So let's dive in. Okay, so this is what a cover letter basically looks like. A cover letter dates back to a bygone age when you would actually print out your resume and put it in an envelope and mail it to a recruiter or a hiring manager. And if a resume landed on their desk, it wouldn't be much use without someone explaining what it was for. Okay, so that was the purpose of the cover letter. It was to explain your resume. Today, a cover letter is most likely gonna be in the form of the email that you use to attach your resume or your job application to it and then send it to the recruiter or hiring manager. Okay, so for that reason, the subject line of the email up here at the top in gray uh, would be what it's about. So you could say something like application for materials manager position or whatever position you're applying for, okay? Then, as you can see, it's pretty short, okay? Short and sweet. If it's too long, people won't read it, okay? So, hi John, or whoever you're sending it to, I wish to apply for the material uh, materials manager position at ABC Company, okay? Pretty simple. I'm an accomplished and professional operations materials manager and have the following. Obviously, this is an example, but once again, we're keeping it short and sweet. Uh, now, as you can see, there's several things listed here in purple, okay? Uh, now, what these are is these are points that correspond to the requirements as posted in the job posting, okay? So, when they post the job, and you're responding to the job posting with uh, with an application, okay, which in a lot of cases will be this cover letter and the, uh, the resume, right? You're gonna make sure that you're pulling out the things that they've mentioned that they're looking for, okay? So if they've mentioned, say, 12 things that they're looking for in that job, you directly address those 12 things right here, okay? That's what this is for. Now. Sometimes you won't be able to, uh, you, you won't fit the requirements perfectly, but you can still speak to the requirements. You can still assure them that you have something or you have an equivalent of it, okay? So so that's what these purple points are. And obviously these are gonna vary uh, depending on um, what job you're applying for and what you have, right? Then afterwards, you have this sentence in black here. And this is just to show a little bit of passion and a little bit of the fact that you know something about this company that you're applying to, okay? Both of those are very important to demonstrate right up front, okay? So this seems like a fantastic opportunity as I know ABC Company is a leader in the plastics industry or whatever industry they're in. I look forward to exploring with you my potential fit. Okay, short and sweet. Thanks and best regards, and then your name, and then if you have any have any uh, educational qualifications or any uh, stylized thing. If you're a lord or a knight of the round table, you would indicate that here. Uh, you would also put your contact information. Keep it simple, okay? Phone number, email address, and uh, if you have a website or... You could put social media as appropriate. And uh, in this case, I put a link to uh, a LinkedIn profile, which if you have one is very useful. So uh, you should do this and then they can see you. Now you could also have a picture of yourself in your email signature. That would also be a very good thing if it shows a professional photo of your face. Okay, it uh, puts a face on this uh, rather impersonal letter. And that's the whole cover letter, okay? Um, now. I want to make a couple of very important points here. What is very important here is not what I've done, but what I didn't do, okay? Um, I've received a lot of cover letters from people and um, something that's, uh, that I don't see a lot of people talking about is um, you should never say anything negative about yourself. Okay, that's a rule for job interviews. It's also a rule for your job application and your cover letter. Okay, so don't give any negatives about yourself. Okay, you would not believe how many uh, cover letters I've seen and that I've received of people saying, well, you know, I just want to make it clear that, you know, I, I don't have this and, I, and I'm, I'm not a very ambitious person and, uh, you know, I, I, I don't really do sales. You know, they put a lot of disclaimers, a lot of negatives, uh, on their cover letter right up front. Now listen, 
honesty is definitely a great thing. Okay, don't get me wrong. Honesty is great. And if you want to give full disclosure, that that's certainly understandable. But this is not the time and place to give those negatives. Okay, you are trying to sell yourself. You are trying to get them to pick you over everybody else. Okay, so this is not the time to hit them right up front with a bunch of reasons not to hire you or not to pick you. Very important, okay? Um, let me give you an example of this, okay? Uh, because I know this is a, a somewhat challenging topic for a lot of first-time job seekers, especially people that aren't in sales or anything like that. Now, I'm not in sales either, but the reality is that when you're applying for a job, you are selling yourself. You're trying to get them to choose you over everybody else. So let us let me give you a pretty uh, extreme example here. Everybody's favorite example of a salesperson. Think of a used car salesperson, okay? Now, if they were trying to sell a Corvette, okay, a very fast car, okay, they would sell it by saying, you know, this car is very fast and it's very stylish. Okay, you draw attention to the things it has that would make someone want to buy it. Okay, uh, if you're trying to sell a pickup truck, you would say, you know, this vehicle's got lots of storage space and it can do off road. That's how you sell it. You talk about its strengths, right? Um, these are the reasons why a person would buy that vehicle. Um, you know, not having these is a reason why people would not buy the vehicle, okay? So if you're trying to sell the Corvette, you don't start by saying, okay, well, it doesn't have a lot of, I want to understand, it doesn't have a lot of storage space and, um, you know, it doesn't do off-road. I just want to make sure you understand that. That's not how we sell the Corvette, okay? And conversely, you don't sell the pickup truck by starting out by saying, well, this isn't the most stylish car that you could ever drive, you know, and, um, you know, it's not the fastest vehicle either. You know, I just want to be honest, right? You don't start by saying that stuff. So your cover letter should not include any negatives about yourself in any way. Because the entire purpose of the cover letter is to get them to want to bring you in for an interview. That's its entire purpose. The entire purpose of this stage is to get to the next stage. And just as when you get to the interview, the entire purpose of the interview is to get them to bring you back for either a second interview or to give you an offer letter. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Okay, um, if you have a cover letter that has these kinds of elements, you hit them right up front with how what you have matches the requirements. You show a little bit of passion. You show a little bit of knowledge of the organization that you're applying for and you keep it short and sweet and it's very readable, no typos, no um, problems with formatting, no problems with being able to read it in any way, um, make it as readable as possible. If you can do that, you've got an awesome cover letter and you're, it's gonna perfectly position you to be called in for an interview. So hopefully that was helpful. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I actually have a course called Get Hired. If you are experiencing some challenges trying to get a job at the moment, uh, I have a course that takes you through everything and shows you how you can get a job in a variety of different situations. So check that out. I'll put a link in the description and I'll also put a link to it in the end screen. So thank you very much. Have yourselves a great day and I will see you on the next video. You're awesome.